Okay, the next question that we got on the menu today. What are consecutive integers? Well, let's, uh, let's first rewind a second. What is an integer? An integer... Whoops, gotta get the brush. Integer... Don't say integer, because you'll, you'll make me growl. You'll make me mad, and I'll be like, grr, if you say integer. That's not the way to say it. Integer um, is a, a number. Uh, can be plus, can be minus, can be zero. Um, no decimals. So let's let's give some examples. Twenty one integer. Twenty one point oh, not an integer. E even point oh, you don't want to no, no integer, not gonna appreciate even a point zero. Unacceptable. Uh, not integer. Let's say we have negative five. Yup, integer. Negative 5.5, not an integer. Nope, nope, not even close to an integer. What about zero? 0, 0. 0.0? Nope, not integer. And my reaction to asking if this is an integer or not is the same as what that looks like. Yep, so, and just zero by itself, definitely integer. So, um, we know what an integer is. If you see a decimal, yeah, not an integer. Get that out of there. Um, now we got to think about what does it mean to be consecutive? Consecutive means directly after. So consecutive integers means that one is immediately after the other. So what's the next integer after 21? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that it's 22. And after that, 23. Can you fit any integers between 22 and 23? I don't think so. The only way that you could fit any number between 22 and 23, that's with some decimals. And what do we say about decimals? Get them out of here. They are not integers, not invited to the party. So we know exactly like what consecutive integers are just because like we're gonna add one to an integer and it's gonna be consecutive. So you can tell if integers are consecutive Consec, Q, whoop. See, that's why I teach math and not spelling. Uh, consecutive, if, if you add another F to your if, that means if and only if, um, it just means like a stronger if. Um, you'll see that uh, a lot in math. Integers are consecutive if and only if um, the difference between them them is 1. So let's do some examples. 23, 24, consecutive. Consecutive, because the difference is 1. Uh, 22, 24, uh-oh, that's, uh, yeah, the difference between them is 2. That ain't 1, so not consecutive. Okay, some other examples. Let's say we got a negative 5, negative 4. Well, what's 1 bigger than negative 5? Negative 4. It's not negative 6. Negative 6 is 1 smaller than negative 5. Keep the number line in mind. It's a good way to, um, to visualize. Like, bigger always means towards positive infinity. Smaller means towards negative infinity. So um, negative six is not consecutive to negative five, but negative five is consecutive to negative six, if that, uh, if that makes sense. Okay, so uh, negative five, negative four, consecutive. Okay, my spelling is, I think I'm, 
I think my brain is just thinking in French because French got Q use a lot more often than English. Oui, oui. Um, what about uh, negative uh, 1.0 to 0? No, oh, wait a minute here. This is not even a proper question because you see that point zero? Uh uh. Get that out of integer land. Um, you're not invited to the integer party. This is like broken. This is not consecutive. Not consecutive integers. Because that's not even an integer. Not int. But we got negative 1 and 0. Those are consecutive integers because we got rid of them decimals and we're back in integer land. We're partying. We're happy. Um, no decimals here. Consecutive. Sounds good. Um, we got some examples here. Um, consecutive integers are that follow each other in order. Um, and a similar type thing if we're talking about um, consecutive odd or consecutive even numbers. If you specify that it's odd or even, you just know like, um, you know, it's the same pattern except the difference between them would be two because even numbers are every second number, odd numbers are every second number. They uh, switch places like a alternating pattern. So in that type of situation, um, you, you would have a difference of two. But um, you just gotta kind of have a decent sense of what numbers come after what other numbers and um, I think that pattern is pretty easy to uh, see um, once the more you get practice with numbers. Fairly straightforward stuff. Okay, so I think we can mark this question as the above selection the above question is good. Awesome. Now what's the next <laughs>